Hi, my name is Dave Strabel. I'm an open source specialist for Microsoft. Today I'm going to be talking about getting started with Terraform in Azure. So for those of you new to Terraform, Terraform is a tool for building, changing, versioning infrastructure. So within configuration files, we can describe to Terraform the components need to run, say, a single application or maybe multiple applications. Terraform works with cloud providers, but also works for your on-premises type solutions like VMware. So Terraform can manage uh, low-level components like compute, storage, networking. Uh, it can also handle those higher level type constructs like DNS entries or even different SaaS platforms like GitHub, Datadog, and so on. So the first thing we need to do to get started with Terraform is download the Terraform client. So if you go to terraform.io, right on the homepage, you'll see this download. Then you can choose what platform. So I'm not gonna go through the installation of Terraform because it's a single binary. You just need to download that and make sure it's in your path so you can run that client. So once you have the client, there's a couple things that you need to do to get started here. Uh, first thing is we need to be able to authenticate to our Azure subscription. So to do that, we need to create a service principle. Here we're creating a service principle. So the SP create for RBAC is gonna create that service principle. The role is gonna be contributor and we're gonna scope this to our entire subscription. So when it creates that, it's gonna come back and give you some information that you'll need for authenticating to our, or authenticating with Terraform. So the two pieces you're going to need is, or three pieces, is your app ID, this password, and also the tenant. So once we have those, we can go ahead and go to our providers here. You're going to have multiple files in here for Terraform. Your providers is going to identify uh, how you're going to authenticate to the Azure Resource Manager API. So here we're gonna define, we're going to put these in variables because we don't want to have secrets, passwords, those type of things checked in with our code. So we define these in variables. Those variables we first need to define in our variables.tf file. Here you can see I have all those variables defined, and then where we're going to store those actual variables is in our Terraform TF vars file. The TF vars file, the most important thing here is to make sure if you're um, checking this into a say Git repository here is and you're creating a git ignore file and make sure that you put in the tfvars file because this is where we're going to store our secrets. Uh, so we have our secrets in here, our Azure subscription ID, client ID, client secret, and our tenant ID. Once we have all those defined, we can go into our main.tf. Main.tf is where we're going to store the different resources that we're going to create. So you can see here I have a resource of Azure Resource Manager, it's going to create a resource group. This name here, production, is actually just a reference for Terraform. It's not the actual name we're going to give the resource group. That's defined below in name here. So demo Terraform Azure is what we're gonna actually name that resource group. And then we're going to set the location as West US. So once you have that, we can go down here and we're in our Terraform directory with those files, as you can see. We're going to run Terraform init here. Your Terraform init is going to initialize this directory. So Terraform will check, it'll look at the provider plugins that we're using so it can authenticate. It's going to then download that plugin for you so you can authenticate to the Azure Resource Management API. So once we've initialized that and download the modules we need here, we can go ahead and do what's called a Terraform plan. A Terraform plan here 
it is going to look at the resources you're, you're creating. It's going to check where you're creating those resources. And if you're adding new resources, you're changing a resource, or if it needs to destroy a resource, it's going to come back, give you that information before it performs those actual actions. So here you can see it's going to add an Azure resource group. Here's the location and name of that um, resource group. Here we have a plan, so it's going to add one resource, zero changes, and it's not going to destroy anything. Uh, so once we know what it's going to do, we can do a Terraform apply. Our Terraform apply will then go make those changes for us. So as you can see, the apply completed, it added that one resource group to our Azure subscription. So this is how you get started. In the next session I'll deliver, we'll actually go into a deeper dive and show how to really build out an entire application with Terraform. If you want to get more information on how to get started, if you go to the Terraform site under documentation, you're going to find your Azure RM provider. This is going to give you everything from the different resources that you can utilize with Terraform and give you some example usage around it. So that's all I have for today. Uh, stay tuned for the next session where we'll get into a little deeper with Terraform and Azure. Thank you.